welcome to my channel Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking こんにちは普段日本国外の方向けに和食や和食フュージョンレシピを英語で紹介しているゆいと言います Today I'm going to show you how to cook Japanese barbecue by using classic American cuts of meat My husband here is going to do all the prep for and a grain too I call him Tofu Kun because he loves tofu and this part of his body is like tofu too. Hey, Hello everyone, <laughs> konnichiwa. And I'm gonna be speaking in more Japanese and if he's speaking in English to show you how to cook in Japanese and English bowl. He's from Texas and he knows the good American barbecue, I think. So let's see whether he likes the Japanese barbecue or not today. Let's get cooking! <laughs> Today, we'll be showing the Japanese barbecue style at home and some side dishes that could inspire new ideas for your barbecue. We call Japanese barbecue as yakiniku. It literally means grilled meat in Japanese. Usually, the meats are cut into bite sized slices beforehand, and we cook the sliced meat one by one on a grill or a hot plate, then dip the meat into soy sauce based garlic dipping sauce. Today, we have this inexpensive meat from our local grocery store. Sirloin and ribeye. So, isn't it? First, slice the meat diagonally into half inch slices, uh, a little over one centimeter. <laughs> nice! Beautifully done. Kire. This ribeye was thin cut, so just cut it into bite sized pieces. Also, you can trim the fat and gristle for a little cut of meat. Tenderizing the meat with the back of your knife is essential too. Nice work! Ine! Ine! Ganbare tofu kun. Thanks, bud. Next, we're going to make the marinade that can make the meat tender, but will also uh, be used as the dipping sauce. Can you put the soy sauce in? Show you. Soy sauce. Oh, <laughs> you want to actually do it? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was just. No, no, you put, you start putting it. Oh. Okay, can you start putting the shoyu? Soy sauce. Goma abura. Sesame oil. Hai. Hachimitsu. Honey. Hai. So this. Hine. Sesame seeds. So this. Kuroko shou. Black pepper. So so. Ninniku. Garlic. Hi. Shoga. Ginger. Shoga. Sorry, we. We don't have the actual uh, ginger today, so we just we're just gonna be using this uh, ginger in the tube. Super useful. <laughs> and mix it. Please don't forget to fill it up. We're going to save half as the dipping sauce. 
残りのソースに玉ねぎを入れてつけだれを作ります。Add the onion to the rest of the sauce. あの、めつだ。簡単簡単。Marinating the meat with the onion can make the inexpensive meat tender. If you don't have a mixer, you can just grate the onion and mix all the ingredients together too. So let's taste the sauce first. How is it? Hope you'll like it. I think I want some more red pepper. <laughs> I like spicy. Hold on. Karai! Karai sauce! Karai sauce. Spicy sauce. It doesn't hurt on the way out. I like it better in this one. Bury the meat for one to two hours, so it'll get tender. We are grilling the meat outside to use the grill today. I also prepared some side dishes too. Japanese style potato salad, tofu salad with ponzu dressing, and sweet corn. We'll be cooking the sweet corn in the Japanese barbecue way later on. The Japanese style potato salad is creamy like mashed potatoes, but with some crunchy veggies. It's one of my comfort foods. Okay, I'm gonna do each side. One minute, medium rare. Wow, great. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. The meat has been marinated, so it tastes great already. But you can also dip into the dipping sauce. That's enough. I'm talking about. Whoa. Mm, maybe you want to have rice. Maybe I do. Go, uh, here's the rice. Woo! I love it. Thank you. Do you want a spoon? I got it. Mmm. Mmm. I see. What is it? That's great. Wow. <laughs> so we often eat yakiniku with a little rice bowl in Japan. So feel free to make one for yourself and top it off with the meat and extra dipping sauce. Next we grill the corn. Just grill the corn first and once it gets charred, add a little bit of soy sauce and butter and grill it for another 1 minute. Cooking it like this is great because the corn retains a toasty, savory soy sauce and a creamy butter flavor. Also today, I prepared some cooked rice and shaped it into buns to make rice burgers. First, 
Grate the rice buns and spread some of the sauce with a pastry brush or spoon on the buns when you grill. Then when the buns are nicely charred, it's burger time. But we're talking too much and let the rice burgers burn a little bit by accident. So I recreated them the next day with the leftovers. Great lunch! Place some lettuce and meat. If you want, you can add some mayonnaise too. Having the Japanese barbecue yakiniku at home is super fun and it doesn't cost as much as eating at the yakiniku restaurants. So please try it. Here we go. <laughs> Give me another one. Come on in. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. And I'll see you again. Matane. <laughs> Matane.